clubs in Germany, but also a clash between two of the currently uh, strongest teams. Here in Munich of Pep Guardiola and the man on the left, Hermann Gerland, are a little higher. Bayern Munich, 11 points clear at the top of the Bundesliga table. Bastian Schweinsteiger commented on the current situation, saying, and Schweinsteiger, as you can see, is uh, here in training, as are most other players. We'll talk about uh, who's here and who isn't here in a little more detail as we go along. But Schweinsteiger commented on the table situation, saying, it is positive it's good it's a reassuring comfortable situation to be 11 points ahead of the top with only nine remaining games however Wolfsburg who are table second and also clearly ahead of the table third team Wolfsburg is a team that can win nine or ten matches in succession and therefore there's no reason whatsoever for Bayern Munich to relax to step down in any way. Another good reason for the Bayern players to stay motivated, focused and on point is the upcoming schedule and also the experience that Pep Guardiola and his team made in the past. Last season Bayern Munich won the championship prematurely and experienced a drop in performance after that. Similar situation might occur this year, although the championship that much can, I think, already be predicted with some confidence. It won't be won by Bayern Munich as early as last season, but there's a really tough schedule coming up. Not immediately. Again, Bayern Munich now have a week, even a long week, eight days to prepare for the Mönchengladbach game, or they had eight days. And then there's a two-week break for uh, European Championship qualifiers. And after that, uh, it's going to be a very, very busy schedule indeed for Bayern Munich. Starting, of course, with a really tough away game. Maybe the toughest away game possible in Dortmund on April 4th. Here's Thiago on your screen. And that's possibly uh, the uh, best news, despite all the positive results that uh, Bayern Munich have enjoyed in the last couple of weeks. The return of Thiago and the return of captain Philipp Lahm to team training and in the case of Philipp Lahm even to the pitch. Those were the uh, best news for the Bayern fans. Thiago seems to be fairly close to uh, the team again, fairly close to full team training. He can't participate in all exercises yet. Philipp Lahm, on the other hand, already took place on the bench against Shakhtia Donetsk on uh, Wednesday evening and even played a couple of minutes in Bremen on Saturday, although he said himself he has his teammates to thank for. He doesn't believe he would have been fielded had Bayern Munich's lead not been that clear. But uh, Thiago and Lam are in a similar situation in the sense that now there's a full week of training, then there's two weeks of training at this national team break where both players can work individually, can work on improving their fitness, regaining their full strength and health. With no distraction, the coaches will have time. There won't really be full team training for two weeks, of course, with so many Bayern players missing. And so Pep Guardiola is hopeful that Philipp Lahm will be able to uh, play regular football, 90-minute football games after that European Championship qualification break with the first game taking place again on uh, April 4th in Dortmund. Thiago, we'll see if uh, that Dortmund game might not be a little uh, too uh, early for the Spaniard, but here in Munich, everyone is hopeful that both of these players will be able to return sooner than later. There's a few players missing from this training group. Some injured players missing. Javi Martinez, of course, is unable to train. Franck Ribéry 
has been battling injury. Ribéry, of course, missing from Saturday's away game in Bremen. Arian Robin was unable to participate in that game. Xabi Alonso was banned. Manuel Neuer was arrested. But at least in the case of uh, Arian Robin, it does seem as if he will be able to rejoin the squad very soon indeed. Robin trained earlier today, about an hour ago. We recorded these pictures and it's uh, no unusual uh, scene here to have Robin train individually. He does that uh, quite a bit. And if you look at his movements here, you'll see Robin uh, does seem to be fit and uh, healthy again. We all know the uh, prior medical history of Arian Robin, which is why he himself and the Bayern coaches tend to be a little careful not to overdo it in training. But again, Robin out on the pitch about an hour ago. So we expect... And don't quote me here, but we do expect that Robin will be able to uh, at least join the squad for Sunday's game against Borussia Mönchengladbach at home, 5.30 on Sunday in the, of course, sold-out Allianz Arena. There's a few hundred fans here at Munich Siebener Street at the training facilities watching in. It's that kind of uh, weather, that kind of uh, a temperature condition. There's been a lot of rain, there's been snow, so it's a particularly tough time for the greenkeepers right now to keep the uh, pitches in mint condition. This pitch here is uh, yeah, in a near perfect condition. There's a few holes and a few brown patches on the other uh, main uh, training pitch, so a lot of work being conducted there. Here is what is now called the Rondo at Bayern Munich. The Spanish term is used now. Maybe pay attention in particular to Philip Lam on the far right. Let's see how he does in this exercise. I can imagine. As always when we conduct these uh, live training sessions and when we show them uh, live on FTB TV, you can feel free to ask uh, any questions you might. That's why uh, Thiago isn't quite yet integrated in uh, the full sessions. For that uh, Ribéry will be able to play against Mönchengladbach. But uh, we'll have to wait for the next couple of days to see if he can actually join in. Uh, Javi Martinez is uh, now, I think, probably the only uh, player with a long-term injury and with uh, a good reaction uh, of his body. Maybe we'll see a few more uh, competitive matches of my. As possession, that means that Schweinsteiger and Lahm are part of the team red. And the other way around, if it's team blue, of course. And as far Uh, 
playing sessions. Pep Guardiola simulates what the Bayern players can expect in training and leaves nothing to chance, which is why Leverkusen, that is uh, apparently the plan for the rest of the day. Leverkusen is Bayern Munich's DFB Cup quarterfinal uh, opponent. In a couple of weeks' time, 8th of April, an away game for Bayern Munich. It's a very interesting uh, DFB Cup quarterfinal with uh, really only top teams remaining with the exception of um, Arminia Bielefeld. They're the only underdogs that made it into the quarterfinal of this year's competition. A duel between two potential future opponents in the Champions League. The draw, as you uh, probably know, for the Champions League quarterfinal takes place on uh, Friday. We have the uh, confirmation now, by the way, of what's going on with Sebastian Rode. He has uh, some minor uh, difficulties, some minor problems with uh, uh, his foot. Just a, a little uh, kick or a step onto his foot on the weekend game. Nothing uh, serious. He is also conducting individual uh, training, but uh, should be able to rejoin team training in the next few days again purely a precautionary measure by Pep Guardiola and his coaching staff we have a couple more questions uh, uh, coming in a few uh, users who are obviously from Australia that I'd like to welcome uh, here ask uh, why does Bayern or if Bayern Munich is coming to Australia in the preseason? Uh, I obviously can't uh, guarantee uh, that or confirm anything to the negative. This summer Bayern is planning a uh, brief tour of uh, China, uh, I assume a, a week or so, that it has been uh, made uh, official uh, in recent weeks so I don't expect Australia is on the cards for this uh, pre-season but hope springs eternal maybe the Australian fan clubs should uh, get into touch with the Bayern uh, officials and representatives and uh, pressure them a little more once a year usually uh, Bayern Munich go on things that can't really be said of a trip to Australia that's why these things won't happen in winter and if Bayern Munich come to Australia, it would be a, a summer trip. Last summer, Bayern Munich were in the US for a little tour, a couple of test games there. Again, next summer it'll be China. Who knows what the future brings. Other users have asked us why we don't do these training sessions more often or why don't we just broadcast every single training session. The answer to that's of all, we can't bring you training sessions that aren't public for obvious reasons and then second of all we try to choose uh, wisely when to broadcast these training sessions when we have a month with say 10 uh, competitive games then these training sessions if they're public uh, tend to be recovery sessions uh, sessions in which there aren't that many exercises uh, sessions in which the players tend to do gymnastics or athletic exercises uh, and nothing uh, like these passing shooting exercises I'm hopeful that we might even still see a bit of a competitive game here later on so not all of the uh, training sessions are actually fun to watch to be quite honest some of these training sessions are purely hard physical work for the players and I suppose while that's always fun to watch uh, men sweat when you're sitting at home comfortably on the sofa uh, that is uh, again not uh, particularly interesting it's far more interesting for the fans I think when we see pictures like this when Pep Guardiola is involved when Pep Guardiola explains some exercises that uh, we hope will then be beneficial to the team performance on the pitch
couple more updates. So again, further confirmation, obvious, uh, but um, enough to not let him join in for team training session. Then a couple of talents are missing from the uh, training here today, Gianluca Gaudino. He's out. He's uh, also battling some muscle injuries, minor muscle injuries, but should be able to rejoin in uh, the training sessions soon. And then Zinan Kurt came out uh, onto the pitch earlier today, but uh, already uh, discontinued training. He's back in the locker room, back in the gym for treatment because he uh, felt some minor problems with his knee again with a squad as big as Bayern Munich you don't take any risks train football professionals the fans expect to see the uh, best performance and that's what the players work for all week long and the assistants and physical therapists do the same thing so whenever there are any minor problems the players usually discontinue and again a lot has changed in the past few years uh, players who Team training fully after an injury. Holger Batshu was a good example. He returned and he was probably fitter than uh, most uh, players in the squad. What injured players have to uh, do nowadays is much harder than what uh, the players do in team training. Philipp Lam uh, talked a little bit about that. Javi Martinez uh, spoke about these things. Thiago too. It's day in, day out. Usually these uh, injured players have uh, a green in his first appearance for Bayern Munich. It was a friendly game, a friendly test match in the so-called Paulana Kappa. does so well, and that is just give off this feeling that he's in total control. He had some good movement, some good vision, anticipation, great box control, or even more so great control of Bayern Munich's entire... So keep asking uh, your questions and I'll answer the training session. Well, those are just Bayern fans who've decided to come here. The uh, On the website, you can, uh, if you're ever in Munich or if you're, you can just simply come down here. It's open. There's no, uh, there are no ticket sales or anything like that. The facilities here are, you can uh, catch a player or two as they arrive or leave for an autograph or a, or a chat. So that is part of Bayern Munich's uh, philosophy to on the verge of returning to team training. Here's a goal of the week material shot there by Bastian Schweinsteiger. <laughs> it's Mario Götze who's uh, missing uh, a, a player for a double pass that uh, obviously didn't work that well here in this exercise but gets uh, really uh, picked up his game a lot of uh, fans and I dare say experts were very interested to see how Bayern Munich would do in Bremen it was one of the very few games in the last couple of years where both Frank Ribéry and Arian Robin were missing two of the creative star he's uh, developed into a uh, crossing monster some fantastic crosses from his right wing have been uh, coming into the center in the last couple of weeks and just now he is a, a very important uh, player at Bayern Munich still a uh, young player who has uh, the Bayern pro team and he decided the answer to that question was no since then Excellent training performances, and when he uh, came on, and he came on a couple times recently. But Philipp Lahm wouldn't be Philipp Lahm if he uh, didn't come back. Don't want to say in record time, but in good time, fit as ever. And he was, by the way, the example and not so much by yeah, confidence uh, or by being the loudest man on the pitch. Philipp Lahm deserves captaincy through his consistent performances and nothing else.
Another user question was, do they uh, actually shoot on goal in training? Well, you can see the answer uh, right now as we speak on the uh, penalty box line and all take a shot. No. The exercises, again, that Pep Guardiola and his coaching staff favor always incorporate pretty much everything. There's a passing exercise, there's a whatever it is. Here's a typical one, here's Juan Bernat. He uh, first plays a pass into the center, then another teammate crosses the ball right back to him, then he takes a shot on goal. We're not going to do that this week. What we're going to do instead is we're going to bring you some player reactions as quickly as possible. There's going to be some uh, press conferences. There'll be uh, a news. He's a former Bremen player and might have actually played had he not been injured, but he's still battling uh, muscle problems. So, it seems as if we're uh, slowly but surely uh, reaching the end of this uh, training session. Some of the players are uh, leaving the pitch already. We'll stay here because some as already predicted, I think that looks as if Ribéry can probably rejoin team training soon. If you like these live training sessions and if you want to see more, you can uh, like this, you can press on the like button. We're always happy about good. Can't bring you as many uh, live training sessions as we'd like to. We'd like to bring you every single live training session, but Pep Guardiola wants to uh, keep some of his tack street. Uh, one question was how much do the Bayern players train? That really changes throughout the course of the season completely. This season, for instance, and of course, when uh, the schedule isn't particularly busy, the players usually, I'd say, have between five and six training sessions a week. Warm up an hour or so before training in the gym and then return to the gym to uh, do some more muscle exercises afterwards. Others don't need that. It really depends on the physique of two, yeah, around 12 sessions a week, probably. Training usually lasts one and a half hours, but again, that's uh, yeah, here with the players uh, can watch movies, play video games where they have breakfast and lunch together and so on and so forth. And usually when you go there about an hour or 45 minutes before the training session starts, the gym will be full of players. They're already all there. Um, the players have to be at the training facilities about an hour before training. But again, most are actually certainly a young man to uh, look out for. Müller. jumping up and down, shouting at his players on the pitch. It's no different in training. Seems to be quite pleased with himself here. Uh, full strength with these shots. Mitchell Weiser, so here for the second time running in Austria, which for those of you who aren't familiar with that country, is a in nearly incredible achievement. Austria is a country, in unlike most in the world, where football isn't the number one sport. Austria is a winter sports crazy. It was a funny scene in Qatar in the winter training camp when he walked along the pitch and um, I think it was Schweinsteiger who uh, uh, passed the ball outside to him and he passed it back in and Pep Guardiola ran up to him at Ukefield now and even more so when all these players return. Pep's mentioned many times that he can't wait for Thiago and Martinez in particular to So again, we have, uh, it's been more than one and a half hours now. Well,
As Thomas Müller gives us and you the thumbs up. Thanks for watching this live training session. We'll bring you a uh, live like to watch live training sessions if you like the uh, training videos that we produce of the the highlight moments of a week of training until the next time